Yeah, the thing that annoys me is the game is very much equal opportunities. My, I mean, Joel is Tess's bitch, basically, for the first part of the game. Like, Tess tells him what to do and everybody looks to her as an authority figure. Which is good, but yet, yeah, once you get to the part where you're fighting human enemies, there's no women. Half of the fucking... Oh, what do you call them? Cordyceps, uh, blah, 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 infected clickers, runners, and whatnot are women. Yet, yeah, when it comes to the human enemies, no women. Well, what is this shit? That's like the only... In but everything else is very equal opportunity in that game. Because, you know, like, you have Ellie, who's a badass. The only reason Ellie is in any way weak is nothing to do with the fact that she's a girl. It's the fact that she's, you know, 14. So, yeah. Anyway. Tim, she's a vig... Oh, he's vigorous. Oh, I like the sound of that. What, nothing? Yeah. Tim, she's vigorous for a man of his age. He's known to keep to himself, and with a sword and pistol, even when in his home. <clears throat> yeah. He's been observed to be generally restless and mobile. It's mobile, by the way. You see, there's an E at the end. It's there for a reason. It's not decoration. The E serves a fucking purpose. Mobile. Yeah. Pacing throughout the building, from his bedroom on the top floor to the lobby of the law offices on the ground floor. Timsh keeps his mother's will in a chest in his office on the third floor. Front door leads into an officer's lobby. Space is two stories high with balconies overlooking the first floor. Yeah, very nice. The second balcony on the facade, glass doors, leads directly to Timsh's office. Top floor balconies on the right and left of the building. Easy access. A back door leads into a basement. It's kept locked, but a key was easy to find. A dumb waiter. What? What? Excess. Well, I know what it is. It's kind of like a little mini lift that you can clamber into. Yeah. Accessible in a basement connects all the floors, but it's a one way trip. Once you get out, the panel shuts and the platform returns to the basement. Timsh carries a key with him. Any important chests or cabinets are locked with it. A side room on the top floor is also mysteriously locked. It seems to be an art studio. An apartment near Timsh's estate has rooftop access to the waterfront district. Yeah, now to yoink all this loot. Oh my god, look at it. As someone who beat the first Borderlands three times and, you know, was rife with, like, loot lust. You know, like the dwarves in Lord of the Rings, I delve too greedily and too deeply. Oh my god, the loot is mine! It's all mine! You can't have it! Ah! No. No, we have to resist. Resist the urge to just run into an abandoned building and, like, huddle together with all of my precious loot. Also, here are some maps. They're pretty useless. Just for posterity's sake, there you go. Now, hello! He's in the lobby, explaining his little system. Is that a double entendre? You know, his little system. Is that meant to be like a joke or... No, no maybe. Now, I remember, I don't know if this happens in like an order, but I remember one time playing this mission, heading up to his top floor, and he had a maid in there, who he was basically blackmailing for sex. So, yeah. Vigorous he is. Ah, shit! Bollocks! Oh, God, I'm dead. Wank. Oh, good! The quick save was right here. Well, uh, auto save, I mean. Well, yeah, 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 maid. Maid who basically wants to solicit for sex. Sort of like, uh, blackmailing her, as it were, saying that if she didn't stay the night with him, then she would have to go alone to the dark alleys and the reaper. Weep, weepers, not reapers. What is this, Mass Effect? No, this is a good game. Oh, sorry. I should say Mass Effect 3 when I'm saying that. Or Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2 is pretty stupid when you think about it. Seven! I, I just felt that that was important to know. Now, there's rune in here. Hello! <laughs> Fuck you, Lord Regent. What kind of conceited asshole just a, ooh, what the... Just has loads of statues of himself made and put in people's homes. I mean, really. I mean, really. Of all the fucking nerve. Oh, here's where that stuff was. Yoink. Your money is mine. So this must be the payment then. Oh, that must be how I discovered the plot before. I would have come in here, then come in here, and looked at this. Of course. It all makes sense now. Does make you wonder why Roland has a rune, given that they're, you know, the talismans. Oh, yeah, talisman. Pull that word right out of my arse. Talismans of 
the outsider. Okay. So Tim thinks he's invincible because he carries a letter from the Lord Regent giving him legal immu diplomatic immunity. Lethal weapon. That's a reference. Did you get it? From the state, season his goods in case of plague. He carries it everywhere like a talisman. Oh, no, talisman. Huh, that's kind of funny. But he's also drafted the instrument of his own destruction. The document he uses for evictions is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forgery of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy, but thankfully some of my own connections are still loyal. Now all I need, is to, need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough to Timpsh to do it won't be easy. I may need help from a professional. Oh, I forgot to do the pause. Damn it. Trying to maintain this accent is, you know, it's, it's different. It's, it's draining. When I'm draining. I'm fatigued right now. Once that's done, the fool just needs a push to go down. And that's the second part. I don't even know what this accent is. It feels like it's descending into... I shouldn't say descending. That implies negativity. But it feels like it's sort of morphing into, like, a really bad pseudo-Jamaican accent on occasion. Very, very, very slightly. Very slightly. I don't even know. Inside Timsh's basement, there's a device that circulates air in the building. If some material, probably shit, happened to find its way into the device, the building would reek like a weeper's den. I had to be particular about the actual material, as I do not wish to infect the guard or servants with plague and cause needless suffering. The unsavory gentlewoman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item and a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange, so I'll be forced to part with it. She has given me a key to her unit so I can go and get the sack when I am ready to make my move. Yeah, and we'll quick save so I don't have to go through that ordeal again. Jesus, and nor are they you. Well, I mean, I wouldn't read it again if I had to restart for whatever reason, because why the fuck would I do that? Wait, did I just pick up the key to place number 10? Yeah, I did, all right. When I pick things up in games, my eyes just tend to glaze over, and I sort of kind of like lose consciousness temporarily and not read it. Dead bodies! Okay. Well, oh god, there's lots of notes here, isn't there? Cultist scribblings. Oh, that's lovely. This one was a father. He sired six of three mothers. He drowned one of them. But it was not his fault. One day the child's grandfather discovered what happened, but the old man did not agree with that assessment. Alright. This one worked so hard he broke both of his hands. When he was of no more use, they threw him out. His mother cared for him until she died, after which he turned to begging. Then he died. Mm, very bleak. This one liked to carve wood. Once he carved a small whale, he spoke to it and kept it in his pocket. Its grains knew of all of his secrets, just as I do. That's eerie. This one was a teacher. She used to teach the children about the black-eyed one she saw in her dreams. No one knew. Then one of the children went into a trance and began to cry her name. And the overseers came. Now, all right, I read this last note. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he did not yeah, he was never educated, so he did not know what they were. He used to pray to them. Hmm. So basically the foundation of all religions, not knowing what the fuck something is and thinking it's more important than it really is. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I can't Ah, uh, damn it. For I forgot I changed my things. There we go. I can't see shit in this room, so, you know, it's too bloody dark. Now. Okay, obviously that's not how to get to that. Oh, look. Well, there we go. Ah, didn't know it was going to fall over, but fair enough. Eh, jump over. Oh, bleed enough. Again, a labyrinth. I oh, always wondered. Jesus. What does he smell like? Rotting flesh? Wildflowers. Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. If. You wonder if he'll speak to you. The outsider's a very fickle man. You know, he's not liable to just 
talk to any old boring bastard. Ooh, what's that? Apartment 10 key. Hmm. Curious. Now. Anything round here? No? Well, let's have a chat with the outsider. Okay. Here's one last lesson for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead, and the water's rising. Rothwild's gone, and his slaughterhouse is burned to the ground. Even the Empress couldn't boast of a funeral pyre so grand. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. Oh yes, many facts were elucidated by his presence. By which I mean none. Anyway. I hope he dies a lingering death. Wait, who? The outsider? No, obviously not. Okay, that was weird. I'm curious and want to have a quick gander at what's through there. Okay, so it's above this build. Ah. Yes, of course. Oh, what was that? Hello! Hello! What are those dopey bastards fighting now? I don't think so. Bunch of dingleberries, a lot of them. Oh, right, yeah, there's the wall of light. The Lord of Light. No, it's a wall of light, you sausage. Stop looking for frail, barely relative excuses to make Game of Thrones references. Oh, I can't help it. You know what I hate about Game of Thrones? When you're finished watching a season, I haven't read the books, nor do I intend to, but when you're finished watching a season, and they end it on something, something just like, that leaves you just there, speechless, thinking, how could you end it like that, you evil bastards? You know what I mean? Like the end of season two. Snow zombies. Fucking snow, you can't end on snow zombies. You can't do that to me. You wankers! Uh, oh well. Oh shit. I've got no more magic potions. I'm gonna have to be conservative in my use. Oh, I am so fucked. Restraint is not one of my virtues. As you may imagine. Oh dearie, dearie me. Oh no. Well. Fuck it. Hey lad. There you go. That was a cool looking animation, wasn't it? I'm just going to leave you here. I'm sure no one will notice. By which I mean, I'm sure everyone will notice. Ooh. Oh, I thought that vase was glowing. It's like, can I pick it up? Can I take it with me? Can it be mine? <gasps> Potions. Do you hear that? <sighs> it literally wasn't until yesterday that I actually figured out you could do that. There must be a... Oh, yeah. Huh? Bollocks! I knocked over a vase! Oh crap. Oh god. Damn it, they're gonna see the body. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I think I might be alright. Close this. Okay. And. Good. Good! Well, that turned out quite well. Recharge my magic. Yes, look at you. Oh, cool. Look how he actually <clears throat> leans up against the rail. That's really badass. I like that. I'm a big believer in the idea that games should stop worrying so much about graphics and think more about the animations. Because your graphics can be great, but if the animations are unrealistic or seem a bit shonky, then the fragile illusion... Fragile, by the way, the E's are for a reason. Your fragile illusion is just shattered. Witcher 2 is great, because I feel like I've spoken about this before. Oh, well, I'll go over it quickly again, if in case I have. Like, Witcher 2 is a grand example of this. It's got wonderful textures, great graphics from a technical standpoint, but the animations are fucking awful. I mean, they're so bad. Like, there's one bit where 
a female facial expression was just blank, dead, one might say. If I were to show you a screenshot, only show the woman's face, you would have no idea what the hell she was doing. It was just blank and vague. You'd probably guess she was dead, but then if I zoomed out the screenshot, you'd be horrified to find that she was a prostitute being reamed from behind by Geralt, and her expression was about as, well, expressive as, say, me being forced to watch a Microsoft conference. You know, just... Uh... So, yeah.